glass ceiling up there just a little bit more. Go, ladies. Love it. <laughs> Speaking of football. Oh, there it is. Check that <laughs> out. Is that not a thing of beauty? Rigel the Bulldog. This Cindy just sent this photo in just a little while ago. Out there, he's got a Seahawks uniform on. He's he's running, you know, I heck, any teams need a Look good at player. Him. I he mean, can he, play offensive line. Oh, Look yeah. at how wide he, yeah. those shoulders the are. Bulldog, yeah, he's got the Bulldog I just like build. that he's carrying yeah. the football. Yeah, exactly. It's like as big <laughs> as his head. That's great. It's so cute. Thanks so much, Cindy. You get a picture like that, send it into us, news at coin.com. And, of course, he's out playing amongst the fall leaves and the fall sunshine that we've had so much of lately. Certainly good football playing weather. Now out the door this morning, we have some areas of fog and low clouds, 47 degrees, still mostly cloudy at noon today, 52 degrees. Between about 2 and 5 is when I think we're going to begin to see some of that clearing later on today. But it's probably going to take until 5 o'clock before everybody at least sees some sunshine across the metropolitan area. Then those clouds start to roll back in as we go into the 7 and 9 o'clock hours with temperatures in the 50s. Outside right now, notice something missing here on Salties on the Columbia. It's the fog that we had yesterday. That's because of the low clouds that have moved in. 49 degrees, no rain in the rain bucket to speak of. Across the metropolitan area, everybody's a little bit warmer this morning because of those low clouds. It's kind of acting like a blanket, keeping the heat from yesterday trapped in. 49 at this hour for Gresham. 50, the warm spot for East Moreland and Vancouver, and 47 to 48 from Westland all the way up through Hillsboro, Tigard, and Beaverton. Zooming out across the rest of the state, 51 Astoria as well as PDX. 50 for Tillamook and 48s there for Salem and Corvallis, and a pair of 41s for Hood River and the Dells. You can see over the past several hours, the low clouds really thickening across the entire western part of Oregon and southwest Washington. That's courtesy of a little upper level disturbance right there. If you notice, look really close, you can see some rotation there. That's basically all that's doing is increasing our onshore flow. Not really going to bring us anything in the way of moisture, unless you're out along the coast where you could see some patchy drizzle. The dominant feature in the weather continues to be this ridge of high pressure. Now, as we go later into the weekend, once that little trough that I just showed you moves off and we get rid of that on Saturday, the ridge is going to kind of back off to the west, and that opens up the door for the jet stream to go up into Canada and grab some cool Canadian air. The bulk of it slides east of the Cascades. However, we here in the I-5 corridor have the Columbia River Gorge to deliver that to us. And come next week, we're really going to feel that cooler air start to move in. You'll see that on the seven-day forecast. Out along the coast today, some patchy drizzle, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Highs in the 50s, tonight's lows down into the 40s. Only 59 this afternoon for Eugene. Some morning fog and clouds, otherwise limited late day clearing. 61 this afternoon for Salem. East of the Cascades, that's the place to be if you're looking for sunshine. A chilly start this morning, otherwise afternoon highs up into the upper 60s and low 70s. For the Cascades, morning clouds on the west slopes, freezing level there at 11,000 feet and light winds in the gorge. Here in the metropolitan area, some morning fog and low clouds, otherwise late afternoon clearing. Daytime highs generally across the metropolitan area, topping out 63 to right about 64 degrees. Degrees. Same goes on the east side, 65 there for Gresham and up to Columbia and Clark counties, uh, 64 to 63 degrees. Tonight's lows in the 30s to right about 40 degrees. The next three days, maybe some patchy drizzle here in the metro area on Saturday. Sunday at this point, looking like some morning clouds and then some high clouds in the afternoon. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that's when we'll notice those temperatures take a nosedive, especially the overnight lows into the 30s. And those are in the windy areas. Wind sheltered areas could be in the 20s. Yeah, it's going to feel more like fall, but it's still sunny and maybe some showers on Halloween. Halloween, but that's a big maybe at this point. Capital M. Yeah, yes. and right. I think for the weekend we're still looking pretty good overall. Yes, yeah, not bad. No rain. All right, thanks. We'll